All right. We're we're back. No no fursuits as as promised, but Boo. we got wizard robes. And that's that's the next best thing. Wiz- wizards are below furries in the hierarchy of stuff I just made up. What about furry this wizards? <laughs> Dude, I, uh, that, I, de- I listen, demand. Listen, I we, demand. We, we, we don't tread into their domain. They will fuck us up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyways, this is this is Full Metal Furries. We're gonna throw some chairs at it. It's from Cellar Door Games. The guys have brought you Rogue Legacy. It's written. Uh, it's r- developed it with uh, <laughs> FNA. That thing that Flipit uh, designs. Flipit's not avocado. And um, <laughs> they. Uh, what is it? Uh, or, or rather, you can pick it up for about twenty bucks. What is it? From the creators of Rogue Legacy comes a true cooperative action RPG, Full Metal Furries, puts an emphasis on team play with a unique combat system where everyone is important. Not really. Play on the couch, alone, or with friends, or make an online party of up to four players. Uh, these guys did send us some keys, so thank you for that, and we'll begin the chair acquisition where we take a game like this, talk about it, uh, play it, maybe do a little quality assurance that should have been done before they pushed it out mm-hmm. and uh, give you a score based on some chairs. One chair means that it's garbage. Two chairs means that it's meh. Three chairs means that it's all right. It's pretty good. And four chairs means that it's amazeballs. And we got our categories of doom. We apply these two makes with the working shiny sounds controls and fun. So bet uh, mics with our gig. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how does it work on Humbuntu? Still running the 1710. I'm going to, I'm going to, do that until it's EOL, probably, to the point release comes out. Uh, well, with Ryzen 7 980, it, it runs all right. It's playable. We played a little bit in the after show, like week before last, something like that. But, yeah, uh, this game, like right off the bat, is going to lose just a straight up chair because of the inexplicable fl- frame drops. It, that's mm-hmm. a real issue, man. I mean, does it really impact the game? Not really. I mean, this is side scroller, hipster pixel bullshit. But, you know, we kind of thought it was due to some network fuckery because here, between here and the Torontos and uh, Space Britannia, but mm-mm, single player still exists. Outside of that, everything else works. It launches, it runs in full screen, it runs in window, 1080p, UHD, you name it, it makes it possible. So I'm through it, solid three. Oh, oh yeah, those frame drops, they real. Uh, I tested this out on Fedora 26 64 bit with the uh, AMD A10 5800K and the GTX 750 Ti, as well as Fedora 28 64 bit with the i7 6700K and the GTX 980 with two 4K monitors plugged in. Uh, yeah, frame drops. Uh, it'll, it'll, for me, it went as low as about 18 FERPs in like some random areas for no reason, mm-hmm. and then would just go back to normal once you get out of that area. Mm-hmm. Yeah, three chairs. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really weird because it's only some specific levels. It's like the FERPs just drop down to 15, and if you go to some of the latter levels, it's like single digits on the frame rate. It gets really bad. Uh, I don't know what the hell's up with that, but I know that if one of your character dies, uh, even if you're playing single player, one of the character dies, and all of a sudden the frame rate improves. Hmm. significantly sometimes it even goes back to like 60 so i don't know what the hell's up with that but it gets you ding the chair over here running solus 3.99995 uh with the gtx 1080 and Ryzen 5 60. man that version of solus is really evil when it does handstands uh we do want Mm -hmm. to point out that flibbit ibbity jibbity ibbity bobo is aware of this issue and is currently looking into it so let's go right into the shinies and the sounds. Jordan, how's that? Yeah, that, that, well, that was that was three chairs for makes with the working people can, for those people can mass. <laughs> no, they can't. We we we. I was told. Hey, if you that. want the yeah, full, everything. let me just say this: if you want the full detailed rundown of all this business, go check out the show notes. It's going to be in there. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Eh, yeah. All right. Anyways, um, everything's commonly done in terms of like uh, design and whatnot. All the characters have unique designs and they're cute, but they're a little unremarkable. Uh, all the enemies are very like clearly delineated um, until the bullet hell segments, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, they very clearly got the composer back from Rogue Legacy, although I think Rogue Legacy actually had the better soundtrack of the two. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it fit it fit the it fit what the game was doing a little more than what we got here. Um, and I mean, let's be real: guns go pew, shields go smash. Uh, and that that's basically it for this game. So I'll give it three chairs. It's well done. It's it's not like they cheaped out. It just they they uh, it just doesn't run well. Pedro, yeah, 
Yeah, it's uh, the one complaint I have is the sharpening that's uh, in heavy air quotes there. The sharpening filter, it makes everything look odd, like half blurry. Because the game, if you disable the sharpening filter, it's all just hipster pixels. There's absolutely no denying that. But if you enable the sharpening filter, at even at just 1080p, it looks weird. Uh, I get that it's only for people who really hate the pixels and they don't want to see them, but it doesn't look good. I'll give it three chairs, Ben. Mm. All right, check this out, man. Looking at it, you know I love it because it's hipster pixel bullshit, uh, but it's well done, <laughs> hipster pixel bullshit. So uh, you can't knock them for that. It it hits that aesthetic. They're, they're going for what they're going for. I mean, two years ago, it would have been like a, like a high-end SNES-looking game. Now it's just its its own thing, hipster pixel bullshit. Um, the only issues I have with it graphically, it's not with the game so much itself. It's, it's with the character blindness. If you have four people rocking... You can get lost. Hell, you can get lost by yourself in some of the bullet hell that we're going to be talking about in a short second. But when it comes to sounds outside of just what we did in multiplayer, didn't jam with it too hard. Uh, my time was spent listening to something else because I don't really feel you need it. So there's that. Yeah. With these yahoos, I'm going to give it three as well. Yep. Yep, three cheers for uh, Shining Sounds Controls. Pedro, tell us about how FNA has ruined controller input. Actually, it hasn't. Uh, I have absolutely no complaints about the controls because my 8 bit do uh, NES Pro controller right here worked out of the box, as expected, because it's FNA. Let's face it, if it doesn't, something's gone awfully wrong. And no, it was uh, sensibly laid out. Everything, all the buttons did exactly what I expected them to do. Uh, it takes some learning of the different classes to see which actions they have mapped to each button. But uh, it's mostly A does the movement ability, B does the special attack, uh, X does the regular attack, and Y does the... Uh, like the counter move or the really like the sniper drops the mine. There's a couple of interesting uh, toying around that they do with the different characters. But yeah, four chairs for me. Mm. Over here, man, with the steam controller. I tried it. Aerial controller. Gabe's nipples plugged it in, worked out of the box. No issues. Didn't have to reconfigure anything. Everything's logically laid out, too. That's really nice to see. Uh, it's side scrolling brawler, so yeah, it's kind of hard to cock up button match mashing. Mm -hmm. They didn't do it, so good on them. Four chairs. Yeah, on the DualShock 4, everything worked out of the box, got the correct button prompts because FNA. The only reason I'm thinking it a chair is because sometimes I feel like the some of the inputs don't register, especially when you're like getting corner fucked by a bunch of enemies. <laughs> um so um that 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 is a very clear issue, especially like when you do and the the other thing too, and I'll elaborate a little bit more in the fun section, but the cooldown mechanic, at least for like the dodge uh, ability that they expect you to spam in several segments, just mm -hmm. doesn't work all that well. So that's enough to dig in a chair. Uh let's all give it three. That still makes it three chairs for the controls. And then once you once you start us off with the the fun multiplayer full metal, full metal furries. Check it out, man. It's a little bit of our right. Unfortunately, single player, hella boring with a big heaping side of boring next to it. You got to say leveling up different cl the classes that you have. That's kind of neat. But really calling them separate classes is a bit of a stretch. Uh, it's basically, you know, they have slightly different abilities. I don't know if you'd go as far to say it's completely, you think uh, like Team Fortress 2 or something like that one. I think classes. This, not so much. The combat, it works. Uh, however, I do say in multiplayer, it's kind of fun because they color code, you know, this color enemy can only be attacked by this class. That makes things fucky interesting, fun, hard, pain in the ass. But in single player, that can just eat a bag of dicks. That That's kind of a useless mechanic that causes you to waste your time and get killed to death a lot. Uh, big, big thumbs up. For letting us skip those fucking cutscenes because you know, this is a little brawler. I, I'm sorry. I know you got a story. I know somebody on the development team spent time writing a story. Some people are into that and they want to read it. I'm just not that person. I went to options like is oh right there. Disable cutscenes. Thank you. That was awesome. Good people. Uh, with this in single forever alone mode. 
Uh, I gotta say this. It's all right. It's like, okay, you do this. You can upgrade your abilities. You can find uh, items and the scrolls unlock blueprints. And, you know, all right, better weapons. That's cool. Collect gold, buy shit. Um, but I lost interest. If you're watching the video, it quickly turns into bullet hell. Bullet hell with enemies trying to murder you to death on top of that. So I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm out. Tapped out. Uh, still, party game, local. It's got online multiplayer as well. So you might want to pick it up if you're just looking for something to do in an after shows or something. But I'll give it a solid two. Yeah, honestly, the the multiplayer is what saves this game. Single player is manageable because you can like swap between the various classes. You get you get to pick one, and then you get to pick a backup that you can swap to. And yeah, Ben, the, your 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 point about the um, the color coded enemies in single player is super annoying, especially when like the one there's like a bunch of you're you're playing. So I, I was playing with the uh, the tank and the engineer because the engineer has the most spammable dodge. Mm -hmm. um, and when and it basically comes down to like you got corner fucked, you switch to another character, you escape, but then everyone else on the field can only be attacked by that one person who has like no health. And so now you're just playing the dodging game mm -hmm. and it, it, then, then it becomes a bullet hell. And that's not my jam. I've said it multiple times on the show. I am not into bullet hells. They're not my thing. Um, I mean, and here's the thing, like uh, if you throw in some friends getting curb stomped by the whole area denial mechanic of the, the latter parts of the game, you're going to have yourself an on right, all right time and online multiplayer works. It's not like, um, Charlie Murder or Dishwasher, where things got a little fucky. The FNA networking mm -hmm. is pretty solid, all things considered. Um, but fun wise, it's just kind of a middle of the road game. It's Ro Rogue Legacy was, uh, I think, in all aspects, Rogue Legacy was the much stronger game by Cellar Door. Mm -hmm. This is this mm -hmm. is an interesting um, take. This is them trying to do something uh, completely different, which I understand. You don't want to make the same game over and over and over again. That's cool, right? But uh, this is this is not their their best. I'll I'll give it a two. Yeah, I honestly I didn't hate the single player. In fact, I was enjoying it quite How a lot. How did you get killed at this point? Uh, because that one you can't actually attack the uh, the turrets that are surrounding Pe you. In Pedro, the map. That's yeah, the... but how did you get killed? Though is what I'm asking. I know you can't attack the. Tur I'm just like, how did you die? Yeah, I kept getting shot. I wasn't very. I'm not very good at the whole bullet dodging bit. I just like to go Andrew, in and you gotta smash shoot people. With smaller caliber bullets, and then you'll work <laughs> exactly. Work to do caliber. Yeah, but I didn't. I genuinely did not hate the single player. I may not be very good at it. I will be the first one to admit that. But I didn't hate it. In fact, I was enjoying it a lot until I got to the point where the frame rate dropped. It's like okay, maybe it's just this level. And then I got to another level further down the line where it dropped, and it kept dropping the more I progressed through the level. It's like, what the fuck? Well, that's this game for me. Those frame drops really killed my investment in it with a quickness. Uh, I will, you know, I'm not like a frame rate purist by any means or measure. Yes, I will take a totally game. Is. No, I'm not. I will take a game that's locked at 30. If it doesn't really need it. I played a lot of uh, South Park, The Circuit Truth, and that's locked at 30. And it, I didn't finish it, but it wasn't because of the frame rate. It's just because eh, it's not on Linux. But I can take that. If it's a smooth or at least consistent or even intentional um, frame rate drop, then yeah, I can take it. But in this game, they're not. And it gets so bad that uh, you could probably make a PowerPoint presentation look smoother than this game. So, two chairs. I think the biggest thing is, is like right when we started this, Strider uh, and Shot Realm, see, sweetheart, I'm giving you so much deserved attention, uh, <laughs> immediately rolled out. He was like, they're going to take time explaining that they can run a 2D pixel game on the, with a 980 and a Ryzen 7, which is like, oh, sweetheart, you just walked into that, didn't you? Um <laughs> That's the yeah, problem. the game definitely has some performance issues. It does, and I, I think yeah, the... Well, it's working on it, but... He's I mean, working on it, but still there. the confusing thing is, A, yes, you should be able to curb check this game, and B, there, there's no rhyme and or reason to the slowdown. That's not a predictable thing. It 
wouldn't happen when you would think it would happen. So yeah, there, there's some fuckery going on. Something is horribly wrong behind, the, not horribly wrong behind the scenes. It's a minor inconvenience, but still. Yeah. Mm. That's, that's two chairs for fun. Two chairs for the um, final score. We got, we got anything we want to add before we uh, close it off? Uh, just kind of not sure if one, I think maybe it would uh, hit uh, maybe two, two chairs with an asteroid with if we didn't have the performance issues and if yeah. you were only going to be playing it uh in multiplayer because the single single player experience i i think's kind of lacking yeah and i i mean like uh so i played a bunch of this game on my uh on my roommate's account mm-hmm. um because he was he was um and we we had three players going and it was it was it was actually an all right time um i'll with all that going, it's just that, yeah, the single player is not particularly fun, in my opinion. 